right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Ready. All right, here we are back inside Toyota Center, Houston, Texas. And it seems like every time the UFC comes here, something special happens. UFC 192, obviously an epic title fight between you and Alexander Gustafson. UFC 166, one of the greatest fight cards of all time. But Houston's got another one in store tonight. Yes, tonight you have a chance to make your own history. We saw Melendez versus Sanchez. Me and Gustafson put on a show there. Velasquez and Dos Santos put on a show there. Will you be remembered like we have at the Toyota Center? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Big ground and pound. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than the half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. He drops down inside the now close. He's setting up a submission attempt. That is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, 
not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. He's making all these shots count. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Get a stoppage here soon. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Five minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. Everything is going good, okay? He cannot handle the dominance on the ground. You're controlling everything on the ground. Just be careful when you're on his guard. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did Ready it perfect. Fight. Ready. Round two is on the way. Nice side kick. Oh, blocked the shot there and delivers the straight counter. Oh, going for a leg lock. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. How about that? He avoids submission and gets right back to his feet. Ground and pound is there. Well, nothing in the unified rules says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Now drops inside that first guard, you see. Full guard. Let's see how pissed he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nice judo toss for him there. Now he's going full mount. Oh, nice. He's under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take the guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Side control now. Great job landing from the top position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Going for a submission. Oh, Darce Choke locked and loaded. So deep. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. Oh, he cleared it and got to his back, and now he's out of that dark show. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. And they will stay aware and stay safe defensively. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Textbook land as he postures up and punishes his opponent with the elbow. Big power shots landing. And the horn sounds on round two. Fight does go down there. I want you on top. So look for your scrambles. Look for your sweeps. Look for your reverses. Good guard. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. 
You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, good block there. Big double leg lever change. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop him. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Working at half guard here, making these shots count. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Changing the position. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. There it is. Now he's running out. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. Oh, big, big shots here. Oh, steps in. What a fight! So, what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about? It? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by TKO, the Warrior. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there stand waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.